Can we talk about the state of Lucasfilm Star Wars in 2024 for a minute? Because it's already off to a mess. We are one month into the new year, just about. And we already have (laughs) nothing but problems coming out of Lucasfilm, which is the norm. But it's just funny to see this happen. Time and time again. So we're already talking about Daisy Ridley's Star Wars in the new year. And is it or isn't it canceled? So just a few days ago, uh, this was, oh no, this was posted January 16th. Okay. Uh, Daisy Ridley says next Star Wars film will take the franchise in a different direction. Well, after already going in several different directions, I wonder which way they'll go this time. But this isn't even the big one. No, no, no. The big one was what happened yesterday. Uh, This is from World of Real. Upcoming Ray Star Wars movie delayed indefinitely. Now, honestly, this may or may not be true. Uh, They've already come out and said it's not true. No Ray Star Wars movie hasn't been delayed. But we'll come back to this one. Uh, This went crazy viral yesterday. Everybody was talking about it. Oh, not yesterday. I'm sorry. January 15th, which predates this article posted January 16th. What a mess. So big news hit yesterday. Because I didn't really see anything, anybody talking about this until yesterday. I almost made a video on it, but decided to wait. And sure enough, Lucasfilm did respond. So now we can kind of break this down a little bit. But everybody was kind of taking this for fact, mostly. And I don't blame anybody for it. Because how many Star Wars movies have been announced and delayed or canceled or just kind of memory hold quite a few of them actually uh the biggest one that comes to mind would be the lando movie we were supposed to get a lando movie then a lando series then a lando movie again there's rogue squadron by patty jenkins that was a big one that got thrown away after making a huge announcement over that movie It's happened a few times, so nobody's going to be surprised if they were to come out and say the Ray movie is delayed indefinitely. Uh, They announced a Mandalorian and Grogu movie, too, by the way. I I don't know what's going on over at Lucasfilm. But this was the report the other day, and apparently it was due to creative differences I don't know. This is after we already had a rumor that there's two scripts and one of them involves a Raylo baby, which I bet is probably going to be in the movie because the Raylos are their new audience. Uh, But here was the original rumor. I've been told that Disney has delayed the film indefinitely, which is why they surprised everyone last week and decided to announce the Mandalorian and Grogu as the next Star Wars movie. They just don't have confidence that New Jedi Order will be happening in the future. The problems seem to reside in creative differences between screenwriter Stephen Knight and Lucasfilm. I'm told that a draft had originally been written for the film, but Lucasfilm gave him so many notes that he had to start from scratch. So that is this rumor, but then you go and see this, which they came out and published late last night. No Ray Star Wars movie hasn't been delayed. Uh, it should be. They should just cancel the damn thing. <laughs> Nobody wants this movie. And the director of the movie is a huge activist. It's This movie is not going to make money. In fact, I would be willing to bet this movie is going to be a gigantic piece of shit and probably flop. Because nobody gives a shit about Ray Palpatine. Nobody does. Nobody. 
Anyway, let's take a look at the Lucasfilm spin because I'm going to be honest, I think there's some truth to this World of Real article in a way. I think there's major problems behind the scene about what they want this movie to be for sure because <laughs> they know people don't like Ray. They have to know, I would imagine, that they that they know that the audience doesn't care for her that much. But they've put themselves in such a corner that they have no choice and the only way they can do it do a move forward is with her. And nobody wants to move forward with her, and people are going to get pissed off at the idea that she's the one rebuilding the new Jedi Order when everybody wanted to see Luke Skywalker do it. So, let's take a look at this. You can take that latest rumor and throw it in the Sarlacc pit. Earlier this week, rumors surfaced that the upcoming Star Wars film featuring the return of Daisy Ridley as Rey had been delayed indefinitely. The reason creative differences with the film's writer, Stephen Knight. Well, that's not true. According to Lucasfilm, a source at the company told io9 that re that report is inaccurate and Knight continues to write and be a part of the process. In fact, the company is waiting on his latest draft as you read this. Now, how does that contradict the rumor? Because in this article... Uh, they say in here that it's delayed indefinitely because of creative differences and that the draft that he turned in had to be basically rewritten from scratch because of the notes. But here they say they're still waiting on a draft from him. <laughs> so uh, kind of laying truth to that, to that article, to be honest. Now, you could certainly understand the confusion last week's announcement of the previously unannounced the Mandalorian and Grogu as the next Star Wars movie threw a wrench in everyone's assumptions that the Ray New Jedi Order film would be the next one. However, that news merely shifted things around and as has been demonstrated with this film and its numerous writers over the past years, the company seems to just want to take its time and make sure it gets everything right. Oh, they do a great job of getting everything right, don't they? Uh... The reason that it's easy to believe that this film has been delayed indefinitely is because the fact that they've canned so many movies. Lucas Kathleen Kennedy's Lucasfilm has announced more movies than it's actually released. Like they, they will announce all these movies and they never talk about them. The biggest ones, and there's more. I, I there has to be more. I just can't remember all of them. But the biggest two that come to mind are Lando and Rogue Squadron. Where are those? Well, they now I, I they haven't said anything about Lando. Oh, don't forget about the Ryan Johnson, the Rian Johnson trilogy. Old Ryan Rian, he uh, he's supposed to have those movies coming. Still, they're still being worked on. I mean, there's all kinds of shit that's apparently coming, but I bet you it isn't. So yeah, you know, I, I hear this movie's delayed. I. I I don't say that's crazy. It's like, well, that's kind of per usual at this point. So they make sure to throw in this in here, too, about how fans are up in arms about the movie being directed by a woman, even though nobody gave a damn about Patty Jenkins directing Rogue Squadron. Nobody cared. Probably because she didn't come out and say she's an activist. She said, I love Star Wars because me and my dad shared it together. It's like, oh, well, okay, let's see what you can do. The other one comes out and says, hey, you stupid men. It's like, seriously, like, how do, you, how do they do that? Do they not think anyone looks at this shit anymore? Because that's totally true. Patty Jenkins, nobody had a problem with her Rogue Squadron announcement. And she did everything right, coming out and talking about how she was a fan she grew up loving it with her father, so it's very special to her. That's great. That's actually exactly what I want to hear, <laughs> to be honest, about a, a director. You love it. It's been special to you forever. You're excited to make it. It's great. I love it. And this new one comes out. I'm an activist, not a filmmaker. And uh, I like making men uncomfortable. I really like making men uncomfortable. Yeah, people are going to hear that shit, and they're not going to react kindly to it. 
Sorry. It has nothing to do with her being a woman. A man could come out and say that shit. They wouldn't like it either. But for reasons we can only guess at this at this movie in particular has drawn the dark side of certain pockets of Star Wars fandom. From inaccurate plot summaries to quotes from the film's director being taken out of context, some Star Wars fans are simply up in arms about a Star Wars film about a woman being directed by a woman. But no matter what people want to believe about the movie, it's still doing just fine, is it? Is it doing just fine? I, I like how you... Don't even bring up the fact that they have delayed and canceled a bunch of movies in this article at all. Not even this last paragraph. They don't talk about it. Uh, they don't talk about the fact that Patty Jenkins got no bad reaction. They don't talk about the fact that the director of this movie has a long history of saying all of this shit. No one's taking things out of context. They're bringing up points to why she's probably going to make a bad movie. But sure, just roll with this. So is this movie delayed? I don't know. I don't know if it's delayed or not. But one thing I can tell you is that we're only 17 days into 2024, and Kathleen Kennedy's Lucasfilm is still a shit show. With crazy rumors running around, movies being delayed, not delayed, canceled, greenlit. They don't know what the fuck they're doing over there. Bad leadership. That's what's going on with Star Wars. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.